guys, it's Alicia. Today I am back with what I'm gonna be calling cheeseburger bubble up. Now if you've seen my other bubble up recipes that I've done, you know that I love my bubble ups. So I thought I would try making a new one today and I'm kinda basing this off of my one skillet cheeseburger pasta that I do. I thought it'd be fun to do kind of a bubble up version of that. So that's what I'm gonna be trying to do today. Hopefully it turns out well, but I will show you real quick what I'm gonna be using to make this. First off, I'm using a pound of lean ground turkey. Down here I've got a medium red onion chopped and a medium red bell pepper chopped. For the bubble up part of this, I'm gonna be using these jumbo flaky biscuits. I'm only gonna be using half of these though, or eight ounces of these. I'm also gonna be using a can of diced tomatoes some of this Mexican style blend, 40% less fat cheese, some mustard, ketchup, minced garlic, this stuff, which I can't say, and some fresh ground pepper. And that is what I'm gonna be using to make this. First thing I'm gonna do is get my oven preheating at 350. And then in a large pan here, I'm gonna take my turkey, Add that in there, as well as my onion and bell pepper. And I'm gonna just get this cooking in here. And I wanna cook this until my turkey is done and my onions and bell peppers have softened. I'm also gonna add a little bit of fresh ground black pepper to this now. But I will be back once I've got this browned. And I'm gonna take my biscuits which is, again, half of that can, or four of them. And I'm gonna cut each one of these into six pieces, like that. Now, for the rest of the can, the other half, I'm either gonna make another bubble up out of it, or I will just bake them and give them to my son. But I'll probably, most likely, just do another bubble up. So I'm gonna be voicing over this section because I left my fan running and it is drowning out everything I'm saying. So here I am just adding in a little bit of minced garlic and I'm gonna just let that cook in there for probably about a minute or so until it is fragrant. And then once that is done, I'm gonna add in a can of diced tomatoes, a little bit of this sauce, which I can't say, and some ketchup a quarter cup to be exact. And then I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of this mustard. And I ran out there towards the end, but close enough to a quarter cup. And then I'm gonna just stir all of this together. Now I'm gonna add in a half a cup of that cheese. I'm gonna reserve the other half to put on top. So I'm gonna just stir that in real well. And now I'm gonna add in my biscuits. And at this point, I turn my heat down to low. I don't know if I said earlier, but I've had my heat on medium high. And so I'm gonna just mix those in there real well until they start to kind of fall apart a little bit. I don't wanna have really big chunks in there, but I don't wanna have it completely melted either. So I'm gonna just stir that around a little bit until I get it to where I want it, which is about like that. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna pour it into this 13 by nine inch casserole dish that I have sprayed with a little bit of cooking spray. I'm gonna smooth it evenly here in the pan. And then once that's done, I'm gonna bake it uncovered in my preheated oven at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. I let this cook just a little bit over 25 minutes, probably like 27 minutes. And now I'm gonna add the remaining half cup cheese here to the top of this. Just gonna spread this out as evenly as I can. And then I'm gonna bake this at 350 again for about five to 10 minutes or until that cheese is melted. All right, I let this cook for five minutes. My cheese is melted, so I'm gonna let it cool just a little bit. Then I'm gonna cut into it and show you what a serving size is and have my hubby give it a try. All right, here is a serving of that, which is a sixth of the casserole. And on the green plan, it is nine points for that. 
I need to figure out what it is on the blue and purple and I will add those to the screen and down below as usual. But for green, it is nine. So I'll have my hubby try it. I'll let you know what he thinks. Now, again, I kind of just based this off of the pasta one that I do. So I'm curious to see what he thinks of that in a bubble up form. Yeah, it's really good. It's really, I guess for lack of a better term, it's got a real tangy flavor. The mustard probably. Mm -hmm. And the onions in there, the biscuits are real, um, actually kind of savory. So it balances the sweetness out pretty good. Now, how do you like that compared to the pasta? Do you think it works better as a pasta or it works okay as a bubble up? What do you think? Um, I mean, they're probably equal in my mind. Okay. Um, this is just a little different because of the biscuits. Mm -hmm. Maybe more like a cheeseburger because of the biscuits too, mm -hmm. I would think, actually. Yeah. So yeah, that's good. But good? Mm -hmm. Would it be something you'd want again? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I guess that turned out then. Cheeseburger bubble up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next one.